that's the reason for the black smoke right there. Black Pope, smoker. <laughs> Pope Juice, what are you hoping to accomplish today through Howard? Know. I'm just saying. Are you going to spread your message? <laughs> that's about it. What's your message for today? I'm the Pope. Where, where'd you dig up? The black fucking note. <laughs> black note. <laughs> Who are you? The black fucking note. The black note? Pope. Nope. The poke. You know where the poke is? Oh, the poke. The black poke. You know where the black poke is. How do you think Howard's going to react to, to meeting know. the black poke? I don't know. Yeah, it'll probably look fucking funny. <laughs> That's what it is. Likes eating balls. Floppy balls. He likes to eat. I get my plate. I get my big plate of balls. Sounds good, Your Holiness. Thank you. We'll see you in the studio, Pope. We'll see you there. Fucking Happy New Year, fuck. <laughs> we brought in a stenographer today, Robin. Oh, really? Yeah, because a lot of times I miss what Beat's saying. And the lovely stenographer is Laura Sabino. Look how pretty she is. Uh, hey, Beach dressed like the Pope. Wow. She's crazy. Cardinal. Cardinal. Cardinal Beetlejuice, I believe. He's the best. Beat. How's my man? I, I can't hear you. Wait a sec. Let me see if I... Oh, I, I don't have your mic on. That's why. It's okay. What the hell's wrong with me? Oh, my God. What have you got in the box? Beat, uh, first of all, you're dressed, uh? you're dressed like the Pope. Why? Sit down. Buddy. Why? Yeah. Do you know why? Because, uh... I'm just a guy, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. You know, there actually is a black guy uh, who might be Pope. How do you why feel you about that? Why are you saying that to Beatles? Oh, because uh, I feel like it. That's why I'm up to it. That's why. <laughs> you're acting like Beatles black. Why did you say that to me? <laughs> Beatle is black. Beatle, you know you're black, right? Yeah. Of course you he do? does. Yeah. Yeah. You sure? Are you black? I'm, I'm sure. Of course he is. <laughs> And he's proud I of it, too. I thought you were Puerto Rican. Right. Hey, B, don't be freaked out. That woman over there is a stenographer. She's going to write down. She has a way of capturing everything you say, and she can read it back to me in case I miss something you say. So far, has she written right. anything? What's okay. your name? Have you written anything yet? Can you read it back to me, please, Laura? <laughs> uh, get that microphone right near Laura's face, guys, will you? Thank you. Everybody wake up. Yeah, we have a job to do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right, Pete? My All guys, right. it's like they're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. you know Peter, you got the same problem? He's got people. Oh, I got a lot of people now. <laughs> right. Uh, Laura, hi. You're a stenographer, court stenographer? Yes. What did Beetle just say? Read back the transcript so far. The whole transcript? If you don't mind. <laughs> Please. You You're gotta, kidding, right? No. Just what Beatles said. What, just what Beatles yeah. said, yeah. It's, it's real good. Yeah. Got to Everything it. he said? Good. Yeah, everything he said so far. Okay. All right. This might take a while. Why? <laughs> in court, they I said, watch Perry Mason. They do it in two seconds. <laughs> sure. Uh, I can do that in Ooh. five minutes. You're not kidding. <laughs> exactly. All right. Anything uh, you can tell us what he said? He said, that's okay. Right. Why? Right. Because I go up to God, that's all. God? Did you mention God? Before that. You did? Okay, good. All right. All right. Well, very good. All right. Keep, keep, Laura, keep on that, will you? I might have to uh, read the transcript back every once in a while if I miss something. All right. Beat, how you been? I haven't seen you in ages. Well, I'm doing good. You say well as if maybe something's wrong. No, nothing wrong. Nothing yeah. wrong at all. You know, I do want to uh, tell you that uh, Beat's got a lot of plugs. He's working like crazy in the next couple right? of weeks. Is that right, Beat? I'm still working. I'm still doing it. You business sure is good. Hey, business is good. The pussy is good. Is hey. it? Is the pussy good? Could you read that back to me? No. <laughs> <The pussy laughs> <is> <laughs> hey, if you got to work, you got to work. Yeah. Are you getting laid a lot still? Oh, yeah. No kidding. Where are you living these days? Are you living? Well, I'm still living, but I'm still there sitting there with Bobby and are you with Bobby? Yeah, I'm, I'm with Bobby for a little while. I heard and then, you moving and then back. where do you go? I heard you. Huh? I heard you moving back in with your mom. Well, I'm 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 in there with my mom's a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. So you're back and forth between Bobby's place and your mom's place. Yeah. All right. All right. Jeez, that's that's a busy lifestyle. Yeah. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Just that alone. Yeah. Honey, you gotta work. You gotta work. You gotta work, and you gotta do your thing. What so. What hey. work are you doing, Beetle? He makes uh, appearances. In fact, I work. Uh, let me brag for you for a second. Okay. Beat, you play uh, many instruments, is that correct? 
couple of times, yeah. All right. I'm going to play you something that's going to blow your mind. I'm talking to the audience now. This is Beetlejuice playing the violin. Get out. Oh, yeah, they're all playing when, the guitar instead of the violin. Well, I'll get to your guitar in a minute, but when you when did yeah, you start playing? Yeah, I played play- the violin since I was six years old. All right, listen to this. Really? Yeah, this is going to blow your mind. This is yeah. an actual Beetlejuice violin concert. Is it real good? You like that? Flight of the Bumblebee, right? Yeah. Yeah. When did you learn to play like that? Oh, since I was six years old. Good Why Lord. Why have you never brought a violin into the yeah, studio? Yeah, Robin's right. Why? Well, it's like a big musician, you know. All right. <laughs> uh, Beetle mentions guitar. Another instrument you play is the guitar, right? Yeah, I has a band now. So May I You p- have a band? May I play yeah. some of your guitar music? Yep. Thank you. I get the chills when I hear this, because people think, ah, Beetlejuice, what does he do? When did you start playing guitar? Since I was same, same, same year as the violin? Uh, since I was eight years old. Would you eight. say, you, are you a savant in a sense? Yeah. Yeah. What Listen. does that mean? <laughs> hey, I got, uh, Can you do that right now? Oh, I don't have my guitar on me right oh. now. May I play? <laughs> now, you also play wind instruments, like the trumpet, right? Well, once in a while I do it, but when I'm out of the show, my friend, you're being everybody modest. else does it. You're being modest. Different. Sometimes it's different. Sometimes. Here's Beetle playing the trumpet. Can I play this? Yes. All right. <laughs> uh. Beat, uh, so much to talk about. So you say you're living uh, with your mom. Mm, and you're I'm living- still living with my mom, but I'm still paying the bills. Yeah, you're the one who actually is the breadwinner in the family. That's right. Yeah, so uh, she lets you go on tour, she lets you do your thing. Yep. Right. Um, Also, um, this is an amazing story, not made up at all, and Bobby, your manager, could even tell people this. Is it true Michael Bay, the director, called you in for a meeting to be part of Transformers 2, the movie? Yes. Yeah. And you had a meeting with Michael Bay? Robin, right. honest to God, Pete did. Wait, where's Bobby? He'll tell this story. Let Bobby tell this story. Because I would love well, to have been in that well, meeting. if you want to, it's up to you if you want to. Yeah. I, if you want me to bring him in, I'll bring him in. I mean, just That's for a second you. so he can tell the story about Michael Bay. Okay. Uh, Bobby, uh, tell us the story about Michael Bay. What happened with Beetlejuice when he met the famous director? Well, we got a phone call from the casting director. Go ahead. Transformers 2. And, Did uh, you fuck Ma- Megan Fox, uh, Beat? Who? Megan Fox, the girl on the Transformers. Oh, I probably did. Maybe while he wasn't even looking. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Maybe me, it was in the bathroom somewhere. <laughs> tell me what <laughs> good for you. Maybe you couldn't find us. Can you read that back to me, Laura, please? It was something secret you never know can't find. Especially what he just said right there. <laughs> what did he say? Maybe he couldn't find us. He was in the bathroom. It was some, something sacred. Ah, sacred. Okay. Bobby, what happened when Beat met uh, the great director, yes. Michael Bay? So we got a phone call from... How the, long ago are we talking? This is, I guess, uh, whenever Transformers 2, I guess about two, three years ago. Now get close to that mic. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. so they, uh, she says that Michael Bay's a big fan, and he's thinking about what? using Beatles' voice. Wow. For uh, one of the characters, so you know, would it be okay if we came and met him at Princeton University? So wow. Beat was why was Beat at? Oh, he he was shooting at Princeton he was University. Shooting at Princeton, yeah, and he wanted. I was to like, come all down. of this is wrong. Beat at <laughs> yeah. the university. <laughs> Beat, I love that you were at Princeton University. The kids must have gone nuts over there. Oh right? yeah, they yeah. probably did. Yeah, they, it's um, a great. They probably went crazy. That's a great academic institution, isn't it? His alma mater. Yeah. <laughs> did you in fact go to Princeton? Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, when did you graduate? <laughs> I graduated in 1981. Is Good for you. Uh, Bobby, 84. You finished college? <laughs> Early college, and then and I still went. All right. So you so Michael Bay says, come meet us over at uh, Princeton, Princeton University. University. So right. we get there. Uh, they put us in a room, <clears throat> and Michael Bay pulls up wow. in a golf cart, and uh, he's got a laptop with him. Get close to that microphone. I don't want to miss a word. He has of it. a laptop with him, and he gets out. He gets out, and uh, he says, "Hey, beat man, I'm a big fan. Great to meet you. I love your voice. I want you to see something." He opens up the laptop, and he has a character of Beetlejuice with 
uh, of one, you know, one of the uh, robots <laughs> with Beetlejuice's voice. Right. So he says, "Come check this out." And beat. He's in one of his moods. So right away, <laughs> it's, oh, no. it's not. Look- <laughs> so he goes, "Check this out, man. I'm a big fan." He goes, "Yeah, good for you." <laughs> Beetle oh. says to him, <laughs> "Wow, good for you." He goes, "Yeah, I want you to see this. You know, you got a great voice. I love your voice." Check it. Yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with me, pal. Right. <laughs> yeah. So then, uh, Beat looks at Beat. Why know, were you so angry with Michael Bay? I mean, what 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 set you off about this guy character? Well, I asked him if he wants to do it, but he didn't want to do it. So I said, "Well, I put my boys in for nothing." I say, "Why you just get me in? Why you just leave? Why you leave and then you don't want to put me in?" I said, "Well." I take your movie and not put your fucking balls on it, and then I took it shit. Uh, excuse me for a minute, Pete. Laura, can you read that back to me, please? <laughs> well, I asked him if he wants to do it, but he didn't want to do it. So I said, I bring my boys in for something. Why you just get me in? Why you just leave? Why you leaving? Why you didn't want to put me in? I said, well, I take you, your movie and I put your fucking balls on it. Boy, you're a good stenographer. Yeah, Man, she captured everything. <laughs> Why in court they can't use a tape recorder? I don't know, but that, how many keys you got on that little machine? I'm not even sure. I think there's 22. 22 keys, and you got all that? Yep. God bless you. You're a genius. <laughs> Two geniuses. Beetlejuice and you, Laura. <laughs> Uh, so B, so get, let's get back to the story. Michael Bay walks in. He's got the computer. Beat's there for the meeting. Michael Bay, famous director, is thinking of using Beat's voice in the movie. Go ahead. Yeah, so then um, he goes, Beat, I love your voice. He goes, and he turns to another guy. He goes, tell this guy to shut up. So B turns to him and goes, yeah, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was Michael Bay testing Beat in a way to see if he could be workable for the voice character? Yeah, apparently, because we never got called back. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Michael Bay left with his laptop, and that was the end of it. Yes. Beat, that would have no, been a great job for you. No, I did it because he was like, he was an asshole. Was he an mm. asshole? Yeah. I've heard that. <laughs> Were you so disappointed, Bobby? He, he was Bobby? acting yeah. like a tough guy, so I took him out and said, well, you know, I said, well, your little buddy over there want to act like a little tough guy. So I took him out and I, I laid his ass out. You know what I love about you, and I'll say this till the day I die, Beat. You are not a show business phony. You go in there. You don't care how big the director is. You don't care who it is. If you think the guy's an asshole, you will tell him. I told him to his face. Right. And you and you knew there were millions of dollars on the line, and you still did that. Yeah, and I, and I did it, and then the one, I told the guy, I said, "Hey, why are you trying to act like a fucking tough guy?" So, I, so I, next day he came back and he act like a nice guy. Right. Then the last all of a sudden he brought his boys in, act like a little fucking tough guy. Anybody, so I took his friend and I knocked him the fuck out. Anybody want to hear Laura repeat that? Yeah. All right, Laura, what did he just say? <laughs> yeah, and I did it, and I told the guy, I said, hey, why are you trying to act like a fucking tough guy? So next time, next day he came back and act like the nice guy. He poured his poison out like a fucking, and I knocked him the fuck out. He mumbled. I didn't get the part. At well, the end. Good for you. <laughs> That's pretty oh, good. Thank goodness you're not getting it all. She, she, it's like your Moses. Everything you say, she puts in stone. Uh, I got to tell you, you need to keep her with you. <laughs> Uh, beat so 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 Bobby. When something like this goes, you were probably dreaming of a really great gig for Beat. Did you explain to him ahead of time just how important uh, Michael Bay was? Yes, I told him this guy loves you. He's a great guy. He's good. We know him from years ago, and you try to prepare yeah. him. Wow. When Beetle is in these moods, does he just wake up that way? The Beat. Some days you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Am I correct? Oh, when I wake up beside the bed. When I want to hit somebody, I would. Yeah, yeah. Do you just get angry sometimes? You just, like, fuck the world? Hey, when you got to do it, you got to do it. What do you think your anger is all about? I mean, do you just, like, just say, hey, you know, people, I just don't like people or something? Well, I ain't saying I like people, but, you know, he trying to act like a, like a tough guy in front of his friends. Yeah. So I took him out, so I knocked him out. All right. So what's going on now with Beat? He's That's living, him. Bobby. He's living with you. No, he's living with his mom in Georgia. He's just up with me, you know, for a couple months. I see. So in other words, his mom released him uh, to work. Yeah. I see. Actually, just a visit, and in the meantime, we booked a few things. So is Beat a, a difficult house guest when you have him over, or is he uh, pretty much easy? Somewhat. <laughs> is difficult? Yeah. What's the hardest nah. part of uh, having Beat as a house guest? 
No, there's, he's fine. He's fine. Do you he's wish looking, he's giving me that eye. He's fine. Do you wish he could have Beat full-time? Because I'm sure he could generate a lot of money. Do you ever say to his mom, look, let me just have Beat full-time at the house? No. You don't You don't say that? No. Oh, he <laughs> said it to me not. a couple of times. Yeah, Beat, would he's you, lying. Where no, would Beat. you prefer living? Would you prefer living with Bobby or with your mom? I can live with my mom. It don't make a difference. She treats you right? Oh, my mom treats me okay. Do you ever fight with your mom? Do you ever say, hey, look, back no, off? No, I never fight with my mom. Do you never. ever to say to her, hey, I'm a grown man, I need my space? Oh, oh no, I have my own space in my own room. You but do. I don't say anything, but, but can you my mom drink be there, and but I don't say anything. Uh, Robin, can you drink asked, and yeah. smoke Can you home? drink and smoke? Can you have pussy in your, in your excuse me, Laura, but can you, can you have p women over in your uh, room and stuff at your mom's house? No, nah, when she's not there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You're sneaking girls in? Oh, a couple of times. Can you smoke in front of your mom, or does she didn't oh, allow Oh, yeah. It? Oh, yeah? You can drink, too? I can drink, too. Wow. Oh, she's a pretty liberal mom. Right. Oh, my mother can't tell me nothing. I'm a grown man. I can do uh -huh. anything I want. Right. Yeah. Well, I tell you, is Beetle no a tough man? I'm a grown man. I do what the fuck I want to do. When Beetle says he's a grown man, do do what he wants to do. He's right. Uh, Bobby, how do you control that situation? I mean, uh, he's he disappears once in a while. He'll just get up and and the movie theater is about a half a mile away. He'll just walk to the movie theater. Mm. <laughs> I yeah. just get my head straight. That's about it. All. Hold on, Michael Bay is on the phone. The director. Let me see what he says. Mr. Bay, hello. Who the fuck are you? Hey, 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 hey. Easy does it. What the fuck? Are you God? Well, listen, he didn't want to do the movie. He said you were a chump. Who gives a shit if I'm in your good... Who the fuck are you that I have to be in your good grace? <laughs> know what? Go fuck yourself, you little piece of shit. Right. I'll come in there. I'll murder your motherfucking ass, boy. I'll suck this. Ooh. I'll fucking murder you so hard, boy. You'll be dead in a week, boy. Holy shit, you couldn't fucking headline a shoebox. Yeah, I'll stomp your little stupid ass. You guys were... shit about being in your... Yeah, place. I'll dump your ass in the fucking grave, Robin, and leave your ass but there, Pete, boy. But guy, Pete, the guy wanted to give you work, and now he's acting like a douche. He's a guy. fucking douchebag. Yeah. Mr. Bay. I'll fucking murder his ass. Shit. What? In fucking two minutes. Tell the fucking truth. Hey, he is... Hey, well, let me handle I'll this. I'll fucking murder your ass in two yeah, weeks, boy. Pete's my friend. Don't you talk that way. See, they're all fucking liars. I'm oh, a fucking liar. Me? You, I'm a fucking liar. I think he called you, me. Look at you. You're a fucking douchebag. Yeah, I'll douche fucking bag. murder your ass in two weeks, boy. Yeah, I'm asshole. I'm done with you guys. All right, goodbye. Yeah, I'm done with you, We're you done with piece you. of shit. We're yeah. done with you. I'm done yeah. with you, you piece of garbage. You can't fucking do yeah, it. Yeah, look at your place, you piece of garbage. Well, then fuck you. Yeah, if you go don't fuck your friend, sister, too, you and fuck all your whole yeah, family. your sister. The whole fucking family, you bitch. Beat, I love you. You little bitch. Yeah. Why don't you come fight me then, you little faggot? I'll suck this. I'll beat the shot, you little... I'll stomp your ass. <laughs> he, he's not All right, enough with this guy. Hey, B, I love when you and me team up against these guys. Oh, they, they ain't nothing but pussies. He was saying bad shit about me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I he told him He's going to say it in my face, but he won't say it to you, though. Thanks for sticking up for me. I mean, I mean it. Thank you. All right. So, let me get this right, Bobby. He turns down Transformers 2, right? <laughs> Beat <laughs> takes a meeting. Yes. And even though he's at Princeton and he's there with Michael Bay, it's just, he just doesn't want Disaster. anything to do. Disaster. Yeah. Did you call up Mr. Bay afterwards and say, yeah, Mr. Did Bay, you uh, please? It was like one of those, don't call me, I'll call you. I see. <laughs> <laughs> How much money do you think could have been in it for Beat? He probably Beaver? flushed about a quarter million down the toilet. <laughs> <that day. laughs> I don't care about the money. The money ain't no but garbage. Right. Well, what are you going to do? You got the right attitude, Beetle. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just sad because that could have set up Beetle, a college fund for Beetle would be <laughs> and his children. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Beat, you're the best. Let me see what, what let me let me ask you about some of these things that Beat's up to, okay? Because you got a laundry list of things you're doing here. I guess you're in for a couple of months. And Beetle will work for a couple of months, and then for the rest of the year he's off? Yeah. I see. That's how wow, it works. Wow, nice, nice way yeah. to live, Beetle. Way to go, Beetle. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how's the room over at Bobby's house? Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah? Oh, how's the food over at Bobby's house? Oh, it's, it's great. He feeds it's you? Great. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. 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 Well, it says here, uh, celebrate St. Patrick's Day with Beetlejuice at the Draft House in Long Branch, New Jersey. Right? That's a big gig. Uh, it's not a Michael Bay movie, but okay. <laughs> uh, don't miss Beat at the Ronnie Munn Jamaican Getaway in what? Jamaica. Another thing I'm thrilled with.
Uh, that'll be the Ronnie Munn block party at the Hard Rock Cafe in Boston. I guess, beat you're now in with Ronnie. You're part of that whole scene? Yep. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't yell at him. Nah, uh, Ronnie, Ronnie's you like, all right. Ronnie? You like Ronnie? Ronnie's all right. He's a good person. Yeah, he acts nice to you. He's yeah, not, he's, he's a good driver. Yeah, he's not like Michael, Michael Bay. Bay must have messed up terribly. Oh yeah, don't even, don't even mention that guy. He gets drunk in class like the last time. You know, Michael Bay. Like you mentioned that to you, and you go berserk. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, last time he crashed, he was drunk. Guy almost got, he almost killed us in that damn truck. <laughs> got damn car. Laura, can you read that back to me? <laughs> I missed that. Me and Sean Joe would have went down that nigga ran to a damn tree. I what? didn't get that. You didn't get that? <laughs> I didn't get that. And you call yourself a stenographer? <laughs> He's mumbling. I didn't get that. All right, all right. I'll let <laughs> you off on that. What a funny he was. Right, exactly. Uh, you say Ronnie's a good driver. Does he drive you, in fact? Oh, he drives. He's real good. Yeah, so in other words, when you do these gigs, he'll drive you. Yeah. And, okay. And, Bobby, do you go on these uh, the gigs with Beetle? Will you be in the cruise and all that? No, I'm going to have to talk to Ronnie. I didn't know Ronnie mm. was bringing him around. No, no. Me and Ronnie always, we always get the good gigs. Right. Me and Ronnie, we always yeah. go to the good Places. I can't believe it. Ronnie's a whole player now, you know. Me and be, Ronnie go to the good places. Used to be a driver. Now, all of a sudden, he's right. a big shot. Right. All right. See Beetlejuice at Fight Night at the Birchwood Manor in Whippany, New Jersey. Now, what goes on there? Oh, I got a lot of fighters. What's he going to be doing there, Bobby? Well, he's an advisor to several uh, professional <laughs> fighters, so he's going to be leading some of his guys to the ring. Is that true? Yes. I didn't know that. Uh, so you're part of the boxing match, and you actually stand with the fighters? That's right. And you'll tell them what to do? That's right. right. You're I'm, in their corner. Yeah. That's right. Good for you. Is boxing too dangerous? They're talking about boxing might be too dangerous. That uh, it can lead to concussion. Brain can, damage. Brain damage. Do you worry about brain damage? Me? Nah. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> Follow Beat on Twitter at oh. Beetle Pimp. Why is your name Beetle Pimp on Twitter? Oh... Uh, I don't know. They just put it on there. I don't know. <laughs> Beetlejuice was taken? What happened, Bobby? Was Beetlejuice taken? Yeah. It was. Yeah, okay. 50 times. I see. All right. Beetle Pimp. I follow you, uh, Beetle Pimp. Uh, it's fabulous when you tweet. <laughs> Thanks to uh, also Veritex for providing the court stenographer today. I got to say, L Lori, you're very good. Uh, you missed a couple of times. I didn't miss. So he was mumbling. He was mumbling. <laughs> mumbling. See, if you were a judge, no, you'd I wasn't said, mumbling. I was doing it right. <laughs> Give up, Robin. <laughs> Trying to get a word in is impossible. Now, Beetle, when you walked in, you were dressed as the Pope, and you were holding a Beetlejuice head. What's going on with the Beetlejuice head? Because it's fantastic. Well, the Beetle head was that for you. Thank I you. I bought it for you. Is that something really? that you sell? No, that's... Uh, this is fabulous. This, he, this the is movie. the one I did the head with. Let me see. Hold it up, Beetle. What's going on here? Hold this up. Look at you. Robin. you got to see this thing. This I is a head of head. Beetlejuice. This, this is just the head. Who buddy. made this? This is fabulous. It looks, so real. It looks amazing, but it's Girls just Gone for you, Dead. Though. The Girls Gone Dead movie that he oh. did with Sal. Wow, Beetle, uh, do you believe you look like that? It looks just like me. Yeah. <laughs> I got it for you because you're, you're a great man. I got to tell you, I love it. Thank you so much. This is an actual head. Take a picture yeah. and put this right up on HowardStern.com. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Take what a picture of that. What happened to Beetle in that movie? Yeah, did you get your head cut off in the movie? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. That's for you. This did is you a... enjoy doing that movie, Beetle? Oh, yes. Yeah, but the Transformers he couldn't do. This one he, this one <laughs> Forget he did. about the Transformers, honey. Right. Uh, wow, this is fantastic. Woman on the phone says she loves you, Beetle. Let's talk to her. Her name is Howie oh, Adams. Here's Howie... the cover for you, Kyle. Oh, thank you. So you don't... I'm, yeah, I'm, you don't want to mess up if your If you head. don't mind, I'm going to keep this in the studio, like right here, to be on TV every day, you know? Okay. I love it. Uh, right. Here's Howie Etta. Let's talk to her. Howie Etta, good morning, and, and welcome to uh, Beetlejuice. Hey. Hi. Yeah, you want to meet me in the back alley? This girl is coming on to you, Beat. Uh, tell us more. Hi. Um, do you have any scumbags? Wow. Beetle, are you going to talk to her? Uh, there's some <laughs> money there, there, ain't no, there ain't no girl. Uh, are you, are Who's he trying to fool? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take yeah, my Yeah, a guy trying to fool somebody. Who you think I'm stupid? <laughs> are you a girl? Right. Uh, honey, what do you want to say to B? What time you get off work? The hell is this? <laughs> That's some fucking... Girl. Who the hell is trying to play that show off? <laughs> honey, can't we can't fool nobody. Yeah, you're not fooling anybody, honey. Yeah, you want to meet me in the back alley? <laughs> Must be stupid. <laughs> well, Beat, it's been a pleasure. 
uh, Beetle Pope, if I may. Uh, Beep dressed up as a pope was brilliant. Bobby, did you dream that up? No, that was him. That was Beetle yeah. came up with that. Good for you, Beat. Fabulous stuff. Anything you want to say to my audience before you leave? Any words of wisdom? Anything you've learned? <laughs> Ain't got nothing to say about it. No, no words wisdom. Of, no wisdom whatsoever, right? <laughs> no. Oh, all right. Well, Beat, I love you. Uh, don't ever change, as they say. I would never do. The one and only Beetlejuice, ladies and gentlemen, and his manager, Bobby, who... For about a couple of months, he can take Bede and put him out on the road, and then he sends him back home. Uh, you know, you're not kidding. And I want to thank you, uh, Laura, right? Uh, yes. Laura, thank you. Uh, you're you, welcome. you did an excellent job. Thank you. Uh, there was almost an impossible job you did. She and, did a really good job at an impossible job. Yes. And now, Laura, read the whole segment. Everything Beetle said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobby, anything else you want to say about no, Beetle and good. his fans? You want to say anything? No. Follow Everybody Beetle good. Beetle Pimp. Beetle P at Beetle Pimp dot, yeah, uh, at yeah, Beetle dot Pimp. Beetle Pimp dot com. <laughs> okay, Beat. <laughs> go, All right, go we'll, look for that for another week. All right. Uh, by the way, I, there was one instrument I didn't. Beetle also plays harmonica. This is from a. Really? This is I recorded Beetle. Listen to this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Fabulous. You remember playing that, Beetle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to be back with Jenny McCarthy. You know her. She's a beautiful woman. Beautiful blonde. You might want to hit on her when yeah. you go out. You might want to uh, meet her on the way out, if you know what I mean, Beat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'll like her. And we'll be back right after I'll these. I'll hit that, too. Yeah, I Ooh. bet you will. Don't get too sexed <laughs> up. She's a big oh, star. Oh, she know I hit it. I know. Uh, we'll have to ask her about that when she gets there. <laughs> Hey, you got a cold beat? You sound like uh, you got a little congestion. Yeah, you? a little, little bit. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. You still smoking? No, nah, not really. No, you could. Once quit. in a while, but not much. All right, good for you. And uh, the great Beetlejuice at Beetle Pimp. All right, and thank you again to Veritex for sending over Laura Sabino. We'll be back right after these words. Be great subject. Awesome, bro. Thanks. Hey, thanks, Beat. You're the best. Did awesome uh, today, man. Oh, next yep. week I'm gonna. Uh, I got a uh, couple of things me and you talk about. Okay. Oh, uh, we gonna have. Uh, I gotta take you out to lunch or something. All right, wonderful. We'll lunch. Take out I love a, you. I'm to a restaurant or something. I would love you. I got a van out, maybe. Best of luck for everything. Say hi to your mom for me too. Uh, Thank you, Beat. I, I would Beat. definitely Beat. do that. All right, Beat. Thanks. Later. Do TV with you. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, I'm about to be driving the car.